going on. Um, the wife and I, Team Wallace, are definitely pushing uh, ourselves to the next level, and that does not come without multitudinous challenges, but we are definitely up to the task. Uh, there was a release of my 21st book, um, final official release of my 21st book. That went through so many challenges of over a year. I've never had that much of a challenge. But uh, my, my 21st book is I Am, The Power of Personal Declaration. Uh, we got that out and then something dear to me in dealing with issues specific to the black community. My 22nd book drops officially Tuesday, although it's available now um, for purchase. It drops officially Tuesday. Uh, and that book is The Undoing of the African-American Mind and Introduction to Cognitive Bias Reality Syndrome. Uh, we, this is a follow-up to my 19th book, Born in Captivity. So all of this is going on while we are also working on uh, the re-release of a couple of my earlier works, The Invisible Father and When Your House is Not a Home. So which are my first and fourth books. So we are definitely in on that. Mary and I are also in on uh, working on Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. Uh, you need to check out our YouTube channel where she's definitely putting together a pretty nice library. Uh, also, uh, Black Men Lead, and we're preparing a 15-city tour uh, to go into communities, uh, Black communities across the country and help them implement the programs, Black Men Lead, Restoring Ghettos for God and Daughters to help socialize our young males and females. Uh, so all that's going on and still I'm doing my work as a um, performance psychologist, therapist, consultant, um, and coach, and that's going great. All that out of the way, I just wanted to stop in this morning and remind you that we are starting a new 30-day challenge. Uh, I'm going to come, uh, I'm going to put all the information in the link if you want to subscribe to it uh, and be a part of it as far as actually consulting with me during the process, having a plan and program set in motion for you. You're going to want to really do this because this is going to happen in a place where everybody can participate who is serious about participating. I know I'll be the first to admit that most of my programs are high ticketed items. Uh, and they are that way because I deliver. And, and, to, and in order to deliver the way I deliver, I need to be able to do what I do, and that costs. Uh, but I haven't had one of my clients tell me that um, after completing my course that they didn't get um, more in value than what the matter of fact you'll see some of them pop up on this video you'll uh, be able to go check the site you can look at some of the posts that i've made on social media and you will see them chime in and there are those who desire to keep their you know uh business works with me private so you won't see those but there are plenty who will weigh in uh normally when i do lives they pop up so check me out on YouTube, check me out here, uh, you know, on Facebook or wherever this this video is gonna end up, uh, check it out. But uh, what I wanna do is remind you of that, invite you to be a part of the 30 day challenge. And I want you to understand something. Uh, in, in turbulent times such as these, it can be real easy for us to become consumed with what's going wrong. We, 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 we have the, the, the pandemic, we have the economic crisis, we have an election coming up and, and the choices, to be totally honest, uh, are less than stellar. If we're gonna be honest with ourselves, get outside of our emotions and actually start thinking, our choices are less than stellar. 
and there's so much going on. Uh, I am a huge believer that everything comes beginning with yourself. You start change from within. Even when you're looking for panoramic uh, evolution, when you're looking for a change in the world in general, it still begins within. It begins with you becoming the catalyst for the change. It begins with you taking uh, the reign, your personal reins, um, the reins of your personal sovereignty and saying, I'm going to be a difference maker. I'm going to be an impact. I'm going to make my presence felt. This is not about ease. I tell people all the time, I tell my clients, if you're looking for a pathway of ease, I'm not the person for you. If you're looking for everything to just fall in line and go exactly the way you want it to, I'm not the person for you. If you're looking for a direction that'll set the course of your life so that you can leave a legacy that will speak for you long after you're gone, then I'm your dude. If you're looking for somebody that can help you find the, 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 the hidden power within to do exceptional, extraordinary, and phenomenal things, I'm your guy. But it's going to take work. It's going to take commitment. It's going to take a relentless mindset that doesn't allow you to cower down in the presence of opposition and adversity. It's going to require that you stand up and you face your destiny face to face and you go out and you get it. You make it happen. It's possible. I don't care what it is you desire for your life, it's possible. It's not a question of possibility. The question remains, are you willing to go the distance? Are you willing to put in the work? Are you willing to be committed? Are you willing to make the sacrifice? Are you willing to invest in yourself? That's where it comes in. Most people want it, but they don't want the process. They don't want the, the sacrifice. They don't want to put skin in the game. They don't want to invest in themselves. They want opportunity to find them. They want opportunity to recognize the potential that they have, even though they never tapped into it. They've never opened it up, accessed it, and began the process of actualization. They just want somebody to see something in them and open up all the doors for them. Life doesn't work that way. But if you want to go out and open some doors on your own, kick some in, uh, take some alternate routes, then anything is possible. And you can do that within the con con constraints of your own personal value systems, ethics, and morality. You don't have to be a bad guy. You don't have to uh, uh, mishandle people. You don't have to do any of that stuff that the world tells you. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and you just got to go out and get it, and you got to do it to people before they do it to you. There's a way to get it and not harm anyone. Now, uh, I want to encourage you. I want to really, truly encourage you to make a move. Uh, this shift that we're seeing in society, in global economics, in the national uh, economic uh, spectrum, uh, this in the job market, in business, it's not going to go back to the status quo. We're looking at a new norm evolving right before our eyes and how we adjust to it, how we prepare ourselves for it, how we raise the demands on ourselves to perform in it is going to determine where we land. It's up to us. Life is not going to lay down for you. I can tell you that now. Life will not lay down to you. So my question is, what are you going to do? Are you going to stand up? Are you going to go out and get it? I, I challenge you. I got three spots right now for people to work with me for the next year. No, it's not free. But I guarantee you, you ask anybody that's taken that package, they have nothing good to say. I'm going to tag Kim. Kim is a person on Facebook. A couple of my other people aren't on Facebook. But uh, you definitely, if, I'll ask them and see if they want to uh, talk about uh, their work with me with anyone. But what I can tell you is this. You need to make a commitment. I want, I've got three spots right now. Reach out to me at CEO at Rick Wallace PhD dot link and tell me you want to be a part of it. You want to take advantage of it and we will get the ball rolling. We will get things happening. There's absolutely nothing in this life you can't conquer. You were designed to come into this world and be a difference maker to overcome obstacles, to conquer challenges. So let's make it happen. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget, check out those uh, new releases on the books.
And on that note, I'm going to leave you where I always do. Live your life on full so that when you leave this place, you die on me. That's my challenge. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.